In other words, if you're zero, everybody else will be zero. If you become ins inspiration, everybody else will. Everybody else will. How wonderful to know that. Earlier this year, a great healing soul transitioned over to spirit. And while Dr. E. Haleakala is no longer with us physically, he leaves our world with an amazing healing legacy. You may have heard of this man, and some of you may have even met him. E. Haleakala was born in Hawaii. He became a doctor of psychology before meeting a woman named Mona Simeona, who was a gifted healer and the founder of a wonderful healing method called Self-Identity through Ho'oponopono. This incredible healing method turns traditional ideas of healing inside out. Instead of healing people outside of us, we're directed to heal the world within us via a process called Ho'oponopono cleaning, which brings us into a state called zero. This is a place of great freedom within, from where the collective ills of humanity can be healed and resolved. The results of this practice could seem nothing less than miraculous, but for people that practice this method regularly, miracles seem to become almost everyday occurrences. E. Haleakala took a psychology position at a Hawaiian hospital ward for the criminally insane. Every day he'd come to work, but instead of interacting directly with his patients, he'd instead take their patient files and simply open them, put them on his desk, and turn his focus inward. Once his focus was turned inwards, he'd take personal responsibility for everything he was observing happening in the ward around him. He would connect with the divine inner aspect, which he sometimes called the I, appealing to this divine energy with four phrases, these being, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, day in, day out. He did this, and only this, and then changes started happening. These patients, some of whom had committed terrible crimes, one by one began to improve and leave the ward. The state of Hawaii satisfied that their condition had fully recovered. And that's not all. The building this ward was based in had a terrible reputation for being haunted. Toilets flushed themselves, lights would flicker on and off, and the staff were constantly terrified. However, not long after E. Haleakala began this daily cleaning ritual, all of this stopped. Eventually, all the patients left, the staff were then transferred, and the ward itself had to close down. Hearing about the story, author Joe Vitale, who had published numerous books, visited Hawaii, spoke to various witnesses and authorities about this event, and, satisfied the story was true, co-wrote a book with Dr. Hugh Len, leading to a workshop being published online. A workshop I discovered here on YouTube, which changed my life forever. I just want to pay tribute to Ihali Akala, who helped me greatly personally, and also as a healer and acupuncture practitioner. What I loved was his absolute cut-the-crap, no-nonsense style towards spirituality. He didn't want to be anyone's guru. He just wanted people to do the cleaning. To get an idea of what he was like as a teacher, take a look at this clip. I'm still thinking about uh, the cleaning on the on her sick husband, and you mentioned uh, yeah. data and memories, and I think... Did you hear it? Did you hear it talking? Yes. Well, how would you hear it talking if you weren't hearing data? <laughs> Whose data is it? Yours. Is it my yeah, data? Yeah, when when I'm when I'm cleaning, am I cleaning just my data, my memories? Is, it, it. is it universal memories and data of everyone I, here? Why would you be interested if you're cleaning your stuff? And if you're free, I mean, why would you be interested if anybody else is free? <clears throat> if you're free, Tom, if you're absolutely free, why would you be concerned? Because when you look around, everybody else will be free. But it's because you aren't free, nobody else can be free. It's all my problem. Oh, that's what I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm here to say that. Just, just data. Just data. Yeah. So when you hear her, you don't hear her. You hear your data of her. This is your reacting. This is the veil that, that the great sages talk about, sages like Chaucer and Shakespeare. So you never hear, because if you came out of zero, let's say she began to talk, and as you talk, you began to clean. So let's say you talk, she, she's talking, and I begin my cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, just cleaning up my stuff. That's all I'm here to do. Okay, now, now inspiration comes up. And I will see as God sees. I will hear as God hears. I will act as God acts, because I'm moved by inspiration. But I can't be moved if I'm into bullshit. Really. Most of the time, we're just stuck in the data. So now you get a choice. You get to, to, to see as God sees, or you get to see as trash. 
So when, I, when she's talking, I'm cleaning already, because she's given me a chance. That's why I'm here. I'm here going, oh, oh I'm going to hear stuff I should be cleaning on. But I've been working on UFO Explorer the last, how many weeks, Joe? A couple months. Yeah, so Joe has been sending me the list. I've been working on it. So in case I bang you a couple times, you won't get angry. Yeah. yeah. So she is doing us a favor that you and I didn't know we had the stuff in us. She speaks, wow, I get to clean. I get to be back to zero. She goes back to zero. Her husband will go back to zero. And divinity will give to him what's perfect and right to him only because you and I were willing to be 100% responsible. Yeah. That's how great you can be or just be a pain in the butt, Tom. Yeah. Do we get, do we get a break? <laughs> um, um. One outstanding principle of this method is that when negative events arise in our life to challenge us, we get to view them as opportunities to clean the world within ourselves and to reach zero, a place of great freedom from where healing can be achieved. E. Haleakala lived the last few years of his life living on the site of a very active volcano in Hawaii, and I believe he did this in order to bring his soothing healing presence to Mother Nature herself, to calm her and settle her energy. If you're not already, please become familiar with this man and his methods. There are lots of videos here on YouTube, including this wonderful workshop where it all started for me. And if you're into mind-body healing, be sure to subscribe. And thank you for watching.